Okay, so this is the cube. Starts out solved. And so the first thing that you want to do is familiarize yourself with the cube itself. And what I mean by that is, okay, it has six colors. And what you'll notice if you look at solved cubes that there's a consistent detail. You will always have white opposite yellow, orange opposite red, and green opposite blue. That helps when you're trying to figure out um, where things need to go and where things um, like are. And so another thing is to learn the notation. So if you look at the notation, the notation guide, it's going to look very complicated. I'm just going to pull one up, which I should have done beforehand, but oh well. Uh, let's see here. Let's go Rubik's Cube Notation. Because you're going to learn a series of algorithms and let's see, let's see if we can find a good one for the notation. And you'll be, no, I like this one. This one's fine, you can, it's okay, it's fine. Okay. Okay, that's kind of neat. All right, so you have the main notations you're going to learn. Um, I'm right-handed, so this is the ones that I learn, like, uh, first, and that was easy to me. If you're left-handed, you might be difficult to get to do this because you're going to use your right hand a lot. Um, all right, so you have F. When you look at the algorithms, you will see F, you will see R, you will see U, you will see L, you will see B, and you will see D. Those are your main ones, but uh, if I'm being perfectly honest, I rarely use D. Um, I, and I use U, R, and F a lot, and they're inverse. Inverses are, they have a little prime on it. You know, they have a, a little tick to the right of their um, thing. I'll just show you here. Like this is a U prime. So if we look at the F here, F is this, all right? R is this, U is this. And here's something to note. When we get to L, L is the opposite of R. Um, it's the mirror of what R prime would be. Because F we had was this. Putting it back in place, that's actually 
f prime there. Um, r is this, but r prime is this. u is this. u prime is this. l is this, which mirrors r prime. l, r prime. And if there's a 2 next to it, you just do it twice, like 1, 2, that would mean R2. All right, uh, B is like, I never use this one, it's like back, so like uh, that one will mirror F prime, right? So F prime, and then you will have so F prime and B. So then D mirrors U prime. So you will go like that down, right? Because that's U prime. And you know, once you get better at it, you will know how to do finger flicks and all that stuff. Um, but this is where you start off learning the colors, learning the notation. And so then there's more, you know, complicated ones like M, E, and S. I'll get into those a little later. I never use E and S really. Uh, I use M and M prime. Yeah, two layers at the same time. That's when you kind of get a little bit more into it. This, I'm just, this is when you get into like, I don't even do this. Uh, yeah, so. See, that's what I used. I will link this in the description if you want to take a look at this one, and I will find other ones and link those ones too. Um, okay, so I will leave this kind of just on the uh, screen and in the video. Okay, so the next thing is to... Okay, so I'm actually going to just mess this up real quick. Uh, okay. Okay, that's messed up enough. All right. All right, so you've learned the notation because you're looking at this here and you're like, what is going on? How in the hell do I do this? Well, what you'll know is... With the color scheme, the center pieces, they don't move. They never move. They're kind of like the rotating kind of center point. The, the, it all rotates around, right? Because white is still here, and it, it's opposite yellow. Red, orange, green, blue. All right. Um, okay, so you'd start with the white cross. You just can, this method, you usually start with, like, a cross. And apologies for this, I'm scratching my wrist there. Um, all right, so we start with a cross. It can be any color. Most people start with white, so we're going to start with white. And one thing you're going to notice, too, is that these edge pieces, that these pieces here, these are kind of like edge pieces for, for all the sides um and then these are corner pieces we're gonna start by doing the white cross which is gonna be you know composed of the four things here but what you also need to keep in mind is that this side lines up with this side so this is a white square and it's not but it's not lined up here Okay, so how do we do that? We find this, okay, and then just put it there. Let's see if I can get better lighting for this part of the video here. Okay, let's see if I change the... That's better, okay. So you see this is orange. All right, you see another one. It's like this, but it's like that. How do you... Put this. Where does this piece need to go? It actually needs to go here. But if you just do that, well, there's a problem. 
you move this out of place, and then this is, which it needs to be flipped. Okay, so let's move this back. What else can we do to do that? Well, we know this needs to be with this. So it's kind of intuitive. You just bring this down and then bring it up. So now you have this. So now all you need to do is get this one and this one. So this here is the blue one. Okay, so, all right. Sorry, I, I know where this goes because I know I don't need to look because I know this is green. So I know over here is blue. So I know if I do this and then we do the same thing we did, we let this one, so we connect it with the blue and then we send this back to line up and then we send this up, it'll be, I know that though based on experience. Same with this one, put it here and then you bring it up and then you do that. Um, yeah, so you just get good at doing that and it, it takes some time to get used to, of course. So don't feel like the, that if you're overwhelmed just by like this cross, you're like, oh my God, I don't know how to do this and line this up. That's fine. I was there. These ads here are really weird. Really weird. I'm definitely gonna have to take those out the video. Anyway, that's fine. Okay, so that's kind of where you should start off. So, uh, yeah, so I think I'm going to leave you there. So practice doing that, and then watch my next video, where we will be putting in the corner pieces, and yeah. I don't use algorithm notation for it, but I will present the algorithm notation that goes with it. Um, this, let's see here. For the cross, just do it intuitively. Don't worry about algorithms for that one. Same thing will go for the corners. I will tell you what the algorithms are, but again, I didn't learn it that way. So... Um, yeah. All right. 